out. Um, coming in to uh, you know, the main event. Just right off the bat, initial reactions. Wait, you said what? An uh, initial reaction, like right away. Did you enjoy the fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good. It was a good card. Now, walk me through. Like, obviously, you had Zoo winning. Um, there was a major cut. I mean, talk about the first two rounds of Zoo and his success that he had. See, he is on his way to winning, kind of big, but you know that's the unfortunate things about boxing. That can happen, you know, in the ring, but. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, it was unfortunate because you can kind of, you could tell he was about to win. Messed so, up my whole parlay, bro. It was an unfortunate, it was an unfortunate loss, uh, for him because he the better fighter and that, you know, that can happen in boxing where, where the lesser fighter win, but, um, you know, it don't, it don't deter me from what I already think about him because that wasn't really like, no. That was kind of a, you know, it was kind of a fluke. So I mm. think everybody know that lightweight. So I mean, I think he deserved a rematch. You believe he deserves a rematch? Yeah, I think he deserved a rematch. Okay. So before we get into the rematch, did you see any adjustments being made as far as with the jab with Fondora? Or do you believe that he had that success due to the cut? I think it was some of both. I think that the cut made a huge difference, though. I mean, he had all the blood going in his eyes, so you can't see. Yep. You know, I think that it should have went to like a, <clears throat> it should have got stopped or something like that. But, you know, we know he, the fighter got a lot of heart, but that's what the corner got to step in and say, the fighter from himself. Mm-hmm. I think it should have got stopped. You know, that was like a, it wasn't a bit like, oh, he quit just from a little cut. That was dangerous. Like, it damn near looked like he could have passed out all of that blood. Like, you can get lightheaded. I mean, it, it was serious. But he showed us the dog that he got in him. So, you know, that loss, ain't, you know, it ain't really like a loss. So you don't, oh, okay. So you, you believe that's not a real loss? It's on his record, but. We are to see what was about to happen. Like, you know, he should have, I think Fondora should have smoked him worse in that situation. Mm. Now, were you able to see the interview I did with Stitch? Not yet. Nope. Nope. But, but, yeah, Stitch is my guy and is one of my cut men. So he had a lot to say upon the work that was done and, uh, you know, the decision making in the corner as far when it came down to zoo just touch on that what did he say because i'm sure he probably gonna say what i'm thinking i mean go right ahead because i mean he kind of goes more in depth as far as like what solutions that he they should be using and how they should be applying them they didn't have it in the corner i heard right they didn't have certain um things like uh ready and they were losing time and then like also, you don't just put Vaseline. There's certain. There's a certain thing that he said that you're supposed to put. In your, yeah, and, and and you're supposed to pinch the nerve, make sure that there's no blood, and then apply that. And then the longer you hold it, the the better it is. But so you have to have everything set up already. So you're losing time. So he said that he was losing time, um, in the corner. Speak upon just the decision making of just like, bro, like. Did you see that, yo, yo, he was squirting blood, bro. Like this shit was, this shit was, yo, he was, the the, the blood was going higher than, it was going over Fundora's head. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, I'm just glad he ain't suffer no serious injury from all that blood loss. But I mean, honestly, that's why, you know, I encourage, you know, any fighter <laughs> that's watching to hire the best of the best that, that done it the longest. Cause you only got like forty seconds to work in the corner. Mm -hmm. By the time you get back to the corner in the ring, and you got to get ready for the next bell to ring, I mean, so you want the best of the best. Like maybe, 
You know, he might need stitch on this. And you want to cover all bases when you go into these big fights. Imagine if that was Terrence Crawford that he was in there with. He probably got stopped. So, you know, you got to just make sure that you, you in these big fights, you got a title. You got to get yourself the best of the best. You don't want to lose like that. I put it like that. Like, you don't want to lose in that way to where we know who the better man was. And then it was just something like an error. Quote, unquote, Stitch basically said that, you know, uh, not exact words, um, but his team failed him that night. Uh, what, what would you speak upon that, the, the decision making, you know? Um, yeah, I think it was, it was, it was, yeah, his corner should have definitely stepped in and, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> yeah, I agree with him. I agree with him. Definitely a hundred percent. Cause fighters warriors. So they don't want to make it look like they quit, but you know, sometimes you got to say the fighters from themselves, you know? Um, and I think that was one of them scenarios. It was good luck on, uh, Fondora part. I know that he got to be like, damn, I'm, I got lucky. And it was an elbow to make it even worse. It wasn't a punch. Right. Wasn't intentional. Man, it was an elbow, so that's what made it even crazier. Right. Exactly. Exactly. For them not to call it, which is crazy. Yeah. Um. Nevertheless, rematch. Who do you favor? Oh, Tim Zoo. But, but I ain't gonna lie. If I'm... um. If I'm uh, Fondora, I'll fight Spencer Crawford. He got to go for the biggest bag he can get. And then, you know, unless it's an immediate rematch clause, but I'm saying that's on Tim's end. If I'm Fondora, I'm going to try to get the biggest fight I can get with Earl Spencer or with Crawford, with one of them. So there is a rematch clause. Don't know if it's an immediate one, though. Um, and that being said, the WBO um, is mandating Crawford versus Fondora. Um, talk about that. Did I, did you tell me who would you would who would win in the rematch? Yeah, Zoo Tim Zoo. And, and do you think he'll stop him, or do you think he'll go to the decision? I think he might stop him. 